In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Cornish Rex cat. The Cornish Rex is a rather distinctive looking cat breed. As a result, it should come as no surprise to learn that there are a number of interesting facts about them, which should appeal to cat owners as well as other people who are interested in cats for whatever reason. Cornish means something that comes from Cornwall. For those who are unfamiliar with that name, it is the region situated at the southwestern tip of England, which has been inhabited by the Cornish for a long, long time. The Cornish Rex is a small to medium-sized cat. Because she stands high on her legs, she appears to be a large cat until you pick her up. Because of the slender boning on the Cornish Rex, she may feel almost dainty, but this cat is athletic and not fragile at all. The Cornish Rex has a small, narrow head with large ears and eyes that look large for the size of the head. She has a Roman nose, a strong chin, and long, slender legs. The tail is also slender and long, with a great degree of flexibility. The coat of the Cornish Rex is unique among cats. It is silky and soft, but forms itself into waves that look a bit like corn rows. Here are some interesting facts about the Cornish Rex cat. 1. Rex means king. The other component of the name Cornish Rex comes from the Latin for king. In fact, Rex was the title that was used for the rulers of the Roman kingdom, though it saw a fair amount of use in other contexts as well. Some people might be curious about whether the Romans ever used Rex as a pet name. If so, they might be disappointed to learn that, while the Romans seem to have a similar naming sense, they were very fond of using Greek names for their pets. This is the reason that a lot of Roman pets ran around with names such as Sticked and Tigris, which are amusing because they mean Spot and Tiger. 2. Named for a rabbit. With that said, it is amusing to note that the Cornish Rex is named for a rabbit. To be exact, the Cornish Rex is named for the Rex rabbit, which is a rather informal term used for a number of domestic rabbit breeds, that exhibit what is a very plush sort of fur called Rex fur. This comes from the fact that a Rex rabbit has no guard hairs in its fur, meaning that the hairs in its fur share the same shortness of length. Combined with their dense distribution, this is what creates the plush feeling, which in turn, is why the Cornish Rex is named for the Rex rabbit. 3. They started out in 1950s. The Cornish Rex's origins can be traced to Cornwall in the 1950s. What happened was that a female cat bore a litter of kittens, which happened to include one with a genetic mutation that caused it to have a rather unusual coat of fur, which stood out in the sense that it was both very fine and very curly. The kitten's name was Calabunker, which is worth remembering because he went on to become the progenitor of the cats that make up the Cornish Rex breed in the present. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 4. The Cornish Rex can still trigger allergies. There are some people who believe that the Cornish Rex is either non-allergenic or hypoallergenic, because of its relative lack of fur. However, this is inaccurate in most cases. This is because most people who have allergic reactions to cats, are allergic to a particular protein that can be found in cat saliva, as well as cat dander. Unfortunately, when a cat grooms itself, it will transfer some of its saliva to its hairs, where it will end up as dust that can be breathed in by people sharing the same space. Since the Cornish Rex does a fair amount of grooming, this means that people are by no means safe from allergies, just because they have a member of this particular cat breed in their home. With that said, it is interesting to note that people have reported lower incidences of cat allergies in relation to the Cornish Rex, though interested individuals should still test their reaction to such a cat before taking further steps to bring one home. 5. The Cornish Rex is prone to baldness. The outer layer and the middle layer of the fur have important functions. One excellent example is how those layers protect the underlayer, which is susceptible to a wide range of potential problems. Since the Cornish Rex doesn't actually have the outer layer or the middle layer of fur that can be found in other cats, this means that such cats are prone to hair loss. In some cases, this means nothing more than sparse coats, meaning that their owners might want to take up special precautions to compensate for their pet's lack of fur. However, there are plenty of cases in which a Cornish Rex will become bald, because of the sheer amount of hair that gets lost, thus making it a much more serious problem. 6. The Cornish Rex likes warm places. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the Cornish Rex has a fondness for warm places. After all, warm places help them maintain their body temperature at a comfortable level, in spite of the faster rate at which they lose their body heat. Due to this, the Cornish Rex is prone to sticking to warm places that range from light bulbs to people's laps, which on the plus side, means that they are very companionable animals. Of course, this means that their cat owner should do their best to keep a Cornish Rex out of cold environments, 
which can have a horrendous impact on them within no more than a short period of time. 7. They don't need too much grooming. The Cornish Rex has one more upside in, that they don't actually need much grooming for them to do their best. Generally speaking, members of this particular cat breed will be fine, with not much more than a regular trimming of their nails, as well as semi-regular cleaning of their ears. Meanwhile, too much grooming of the Cornish Rex's fur is not recommended. After all, since their outer layer and middle layer of fur are missing, their under layer is very vulnerable, so that said hairs can actually get pulled out by too much grooming. Of course, if cat owners aren't sure about something when it comes to their Cornish Rex, they shouldn't hesitate to consult a veterinarian for further information, since the particular quirks of the cat breed means that what is true for other cats might not necessarily be true for them. 8. Living with Cornish Rex Cat the Cornish Rex is an athletic cat, and will maintain her ideal weight if provided with enough space for exercise. Thanks to the close-lying nature of the coat, you can easily tell if a Cornish is getting too heavy. The Cornish Rex is agile and loves to jump, run, and play. When she is playing, she can appear to be inexhaustible. She should have interactive exercise as well. She loves to be right next to her parent, and must have some time together every day. Many Cornish Rex will do anything to be with their parents, and will even learn to walk on a lead in order to spend more time together. In general, they love being handled by their parents. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.